Welcome back to CSEC English Made Easy. Today we are looking at sentence completion. And simply put, sentence completion is when you basically complete the sentence. So you're given a series of words and you have to select the word that best completes the sentence. So, once again, on the CSEC exam paper, you do not see the term sentence completion, but the activity that you're given, it is sentence completion. So, the instructions are, each sentence in this section has either one or two words missing. Choose from the four options, the, pair, the word or pair of words, which best best complete the meaning of the sentence, mark your choice on the answer sheet provided. Now, best. This is a very important word. Because, because, when we look at the options that are given, there can be more than one word that are appropriate. But in the end, you are looking for the word that best completes the sentence. Now, despite his short temper, his willingness to give of his wealth to others, to succeed led people to call him and we have hasty foolish benevolent old-fashioned well from the answer here we know that C benevolent is the answer why is it benevolent now and we're dealing with layman's definition benevolent means that you Give freely, you give willingly, you're very generous, generous, right? So based on the context of the sentence, we know that the word that is most suitable would be benevolent. Now, previously, when we were looking at um, paper one, antonyms, we spoke about the use of context clues to select the correct word. Now, in the case of sentence completion, you can also use context clues. Yes, the word is not given, but based on the context of the sentence, based on the information that is provided, you are looking for a word that best agrees with the context, that best conveys the meaning that the sentence is presenting to you as a reader. And so you always must take that into consideration when you are selecting the correct word or phrase or words, all right? Let us look at the second question. An attack on someone when that person is most vulnerable may be dash, but it is always dash. And so you have inappropriate, thoughtful, rewarding, satisfying, destructive, um, distressing, effective, unkind. So these are options. And as always, it is good to read the sentence and include the options in the sentence so that you see what is or which of these options are most or best completes the sentence, right? So, an attack on someone when that person is most vulnerable may be inappropriate, but it is always thoughtful. You cannot attack someone and it is thoughtful. There's that's no, that, that cannot work. 
And so we are eliminating A. An attack on someone when that person is most vulnerable may be rewarding, but it is always satisfying. Yes, no. <laughs> yes, it might be satisfying to a cruel individual, but in this case, no. This is not the appropriate um, word. So we are eliminating A and B. So you see, from just going through, reading the sentence, including the words that you're given within the sentence, you can eliminate automatically boop, 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 the ones that are not appropriate, right? An attack on someone when that person is, is most vulnerable may be destructive, but is always distressing. Mm. For some people, this option might work, C might work, but is it the best option to complete the sentence based on what we're given? Let's just look at D. An attack on someone when that person is most vulnerable may be effective. Yeah, but is it, but is always unkind. So based on our options given, what would you say is our answer? Comment below. And the answer is D. If you chose D, you are correct. Let us look at the third option. To conceal his true activities, the spy quickly dash a plausible excuse for his presence there. I like this sentence. <laughs> All right, so remember to conceal his true acti activities, right? So you're concealing your intent. The spy quickly dash a plausible excuse. Is it fabricated? Is it divulged? Is it explained? Is it disguised? I think this one is a giveaway. I love this one. And your answer, do I need to go in? The answer is, what is it? A. Fabricate. You are brilliant, people. You are brilliant. All right. So I would also recommend that these options that you're given, that you make a note of them and you are familiar with their meaning because you might see the, the word fabricate again, right? When parents display a dash for one child, the other are likely the others, sorry, are likely to feel dash. So, is it A, when parents display a fondness for one child, the others are likely to feel lonely? That's an option. Let's leave it as an option, but is it, does it best complete the sentence? That's the question. All right. So let us look at B. When parents display a dislike for one child, the others are likely to feel indifferent. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. This is an option. C. When parents display a preference for one child, the others are likely to feel jealous. Okay, that's an option. And D, when parents display a concern for one child, the others are likely to feel angry. I think D is the one that we can eliminate. Now, when we have a situation like this, where we have several options that are given, right? Several options seem to be appropriate. We have to now go again right so when parents display a fondness so they you know appreciate that child for one child the others are likely to feel lonely the mere fact that the others meaning that there are more more than one um child there i don't think lonely is appropriate you know i don't think lonely if there are other kids, I don't think lonely because lonely means you're by yourself. And if you have other kids there, 
it, it, this is not the most appropriate. So I'm eliminating A, right? So let's go again. So I've eliminated A and D. So let's look at B and C. When the parents display a dislike for one child, the others are likely to feel indifferent. Indifferent to whom? Indifferent to what? This is not clear, you know. Indifferent, you know, in what way? Um, I don't think this would be the best option. And so when parents display a preference for one child, the others are likely to feel jealous. I think out of all of them, I think C is the most appropriate, the one that best completes the sentence. Um, what do you think? Let me know. All right, so that is it for our sentence completion today. I hope you took away that you have to read and reason. You have to use various techniques. It's not a matter of any minimum anymore. The questions are manageable, but it requires a lot of critical thinking, a lot of reasoning for you to um, come to an appropriate answer. If you disagree with any of the options that I've given or the answers I've given, please comment below and let me know. I will be sharing the layout of the paper one, tagging that video in this video, as well as the structure of the paper one exam in this video. So have a good day, everyone, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.